Hi everyone, uh, today I'll be talking about a new concept, something little interesting which you might have not done. Uh, so this is how you can access other users OneDrive. Now there is there are two ways on how you can access other users OneDrive. One is through user interface, so I'll explain you how you can do that as well. But second is a very interesting way, uh, that is through this download, uh, uh, through the Graphs API. So yeah, we can also create our own app to do this, but I'll explain you how the whole process goes. I've written an article if you ever want to visit this article please do so so what you need to do is first we need to access the graphs api this is a graphs api and if i try it, and once you're done with this uh just log in uh, over here it'll allow ask you for your username and that's it uh type in the username password run this and you if you get this 200 that means everything is good you don't have any issues now if you want to access your own OneDrive content, just, you know, you want to see all the content in your own drive, click on this and click uh, run and you will see all the content that you have or the folders that you have in, in your OneDrive. So over here I can see uh, most of the folders and download path and everything else. So this is a download URL. So if I want to down follow this, I will actually be downloading a file that's there uh, for this particular thing so actually i used so if you look at it i used onedrive uh, i'm downloading from onedrive but using graph cpi now this is of course i can do that because i'm doing it off my own onedrive which everyone can do but the most important is how you can do it from other users onedrive this is very critical very important how to do that one user interface way let me explain you how you can do it from user interface way let's say for example you are doing it for a deal okay and you want to access this onedrive content click on onedrive and once you're in the onedrive select create a link for files it'll automatically create a link and then you will have an option to access this user's onedrive that's it as simple as that and you would be able to do that because you are an admin you would be able to do that but the critical thing over here is even if I want to do this from an API and even if I have access to API, I might not be able to do it from OneDrive or through, uh, through the API thing. So let's try. I run this and yeah it gave me access i'm able to see the content but let's see for another user because i was doing some testing so maybe that's why uh, let's try it for alex i'm sure for alex i might not be able to do that so let's see yeah there we go i got the insufficient permission error now one way to fix this uh, for this user is that I can I can go ahead and click on OneDrive, okay, and I select the same option which is create link to files. Another very critical way or very important way on how you can do it, which is a lengthy way, uh, in that you do not have to create a link, you do not have to click on get access to these files because then uh it's it's a it's a back end way of doing the same thing so what you do is you click on sharepoint okay not many people know unless if you have worked on sharepoint 2013 sharepoint 2016 sharepoint 2010 you would have a little bit of idea about it otherwise you would not have much of an idea so we go to more features and over here you go to user profile this screen of user profile is very rarely known to people uh, across the globe and uh, the reason being is this is a very old screen mainly used in 2013 2010 and uh, not many people not many users but there are one or two users which i would like to explain like one of that uh, uses this okay so we select alex Welber. i try to Type his user over here. Alex uh, is going to look for this user. Yeah, Alex Web, that's the correct user. I select this drop down. I select site collection owners. Now, very critical 
this site collection owner is nothing but he is he is owner of his own my site so in back in 2010 2007 2013 we know that you a user can always have in my site and he and himself only person would be the owner of that site no one else but if other need an access to this then we have to give it through this uh, so i just go ahead copy this user and i come back here make the secondary site collection administrator as this user uh, let me just try this admin done i select okay now if i go ahead and try to run this this will work for me and now i can access this user's content i can access all the files that this user has very important i'm not giving him permission or actually there's no link created over here so i want to show you guys again that if i go over here and if i access one drive the link is not created this cannot be accessed through link this can only be accessed through my graphs api and if i go down i would see all the other files uh, this is the download link and i just click on it and here we go it's downloading a file for me from this users my site okay now one thing i would like you guys to see or i would like to show you guys is that this is the url of that users my drive generally i might not be able to access this url but now if i just try to access because i've made myself admin i am able to see this users files from this path as well uh now trying to talk about one issue which i faced while trying to demonstrate or while trying to get this thing done for you i was i, I, st I was stuck with an error message i was i was not getting this uh, permission done uh, access to nad error because i did not had access to files so there are a lot of consents that you need to do to make sure that you are able to access or access apis of office 365 so one which i did was i made sure that api connectors and api connector retry permission is there but the very important one which i felt uh, which solved my issue was this one i had to make sure that file read all consent is there and if the, if this consent is not there then it wouldn't have allowed me to uh, rem uh do that so if i go ahead and okay i do not have a way right now to remove the consent but if i could i would have shown that how you can uh remove the consent and uh, then i get the same RS uh, access to that error so if, just make sure that when you're running this through api you have that consent provided in advance so that's it in this quick short video thanks everyone Take care. Bye-bye.